okay now we finished the design of the application now we can start coding so here we are going to start the coding for registration so the first thing we need to set some permission for the application so open android manifest.xml here we need the internet permission so you have to add the internet permission so now I add the internet permission so close the manifest.xml so when user click this text view we have to start the registration activity so we have to start the registration form whenever user click the new user sign up form so go to the login activity dot java we have to declare some variables for text view so create a variable for text view uh, name it as sign up name it as sign up text now we need to initialize that variable so sign up text equal to first typecast that one into text view now find it find the view by id r dot id dot sign up now we need to create some click listener for this text view so sign up text dot set on click listener so from this on click method we have to start the registration activity so start activity and pass the intent so new intent first specify the activity context so here I use the login activity dot this now specify the target activity class name that is register activity dot class so this will start the registration activity now go to the register activity dot Java so now we need to get the data from the registration form for that we need to declare some variables we need some edit text variables so we have to declare some edit text variables so name email now we need password so use a variable called pass now the last one is confirm password now we need to initialize these variables first one is name now find it typecast that one into edit text now find it, find the view by id, r dot id dot origin name now the second one is email, so I copy this statement uh, now the second variable name is email now find it, reg email now the third one is password so here the variable name is pass and here the id is reg password and the last one is confirm pass so the last two variable is confirm pass c o n pass so here the id is reg confirm pass confirm password ok so now we need to declare some variables for button the register button so here declare some variables for button so create a variable for button I name it as reg button now initialize this button variable so reg button equal to typecast that one into button now find it find the view by id r dot id dot reg button now we need to create some click listener for this button so reg button dot set on click listener okay from this on click method we have to check some condition we have to check whether user uh, provide data or not so here we need to check some condition so if name dot get text dot to string is empty dot equals empty this is the first condition now specify the second condition email dot get to text email dot get text dot to string dot equals empty this is the second condition now the third one we have to check password so the third condition if pass pass dot get text dot to string dot equals empty this is the last condition in this case we have to we have to display some alert dialog 
so we how to start some we how to prepare some alert dialog so here i'm going to declare some builder for alert dialog so alert dialog dot builder i name it as builder now within this if loop here i'm going to initialize that builder so builder equal to new builder and pass the activity context here the activity is uh, register activity dot this okay now provide the attributes for the builder so builder dot set the title the title is something went wrong something went wrong now define some other attributes so builder dot set message please fill the fields please fill all the field uh, this is the message now specify some positive button for the dialog so builder dot set positive button here is the title now specify the click listener so whenever user click the button on the alert dialog we have to close the alert dialog so dialog dot dismiss so this is the first condition now we have to check other condition now we have to confirm whether the user password and confirm password are matching that is the second condition so else if else if pass dot get text dot to string dot equals if it is equal to confirm password so confirm pass dot get text dot to string so we have to make this one as a condition so if this entire thing is not that means passwords are not matching so we have to put a bracket here and open that and this is not that means if passwords are not matching in that case again we have to display the alert dialog so I copy the builder and paste it here here also we have to display the alert dialog so here we have to display the alert dialog so alert dialog I name it as alert dialog yeah I name it as alert dialog now create it builder dot create now display the dialog so alert dialog dot display sorry show okay so here also we have to display the alert dialog so whenever user click the button on the alert dialog here we have to reset the password field so pass dot set text now confirm pass dot set to text that means we reset password and confirm password field and here also we have to display the alert dialog so I copy this one and paste it here okay so else that means if user provide proper data in that case we have to do some background operation so here we need to change here we have to make some changes here so if the password field are not matching we have to change the message into your passwords are not matching your passwords field are not matching okay uh, now we can test it so before going to do the background operations we can test test the application so I run it select a virtual device so now I sign up so the registration page open now without fill this forms I try to register so the alert dialog shows so now I enter some field put name put an email address uh, now I put them put some password now these passwords are not matching now try to register so now it shows something went wrong you have to uh, now this you can see that now when I click the button it clear the password field now I enter the correct password and try to register so now here we have to do some background operation